You know, or you want to do some banter? You'd be like, so, we've had some big news. <laughs> Jazz heads! Jazz heads. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Akihabira, where we use our calloused hands to give a hurried hernia test to the Japanese beer industry. I'm Eric. <laughs> I'm Casey. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we'd like to say that our channel is actually live now. So thank you to everyone who's watched it so far. It takes a little while to put these things up, but if you have anything you want to say or recommend or talk about, we'll eventually get to it. We don't have that many fans yet, so we pay close attention to the comments. Mostly us and our parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today on the show we're going to be drinking Nagisa Beer's Pale Ale. And Casey, you picked this up for us. Yeah, I recently heard about a new liquor shop in uh, Tokyo Station down in the Yaisu underground maze. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. If you can get past the Minotaurs, there's a little place called Liquor Hasegawa. It's packed with, I think they said, 100 types of domestic beer and 180 international beer or something like that. So we've got enough beer to do a show for a long time. Exactly. It extends the length of our show quite a bit. Very excited about this oh. discovery. Brewery talk. They're called Nagisa Beer. They're based out in Wakayama Prefecture. Uh, the name of the town is really long, so bear with me. It's, <laughs> it's uh, Nishimuro Gunshira Hamacho. I had to look that up on the Japanese equivalent of Yahoo Answers to uh, figure out how to pronounce it. Because they don't know. Because <laughs> no one else knows either. The story with the family is that the grandmother in the family actually used to run a ryokan, or like a Japanese-style inn. The name of the Japanese inn was Nagisa. Then the father ran a barbershop. The name of the barbershop was Nagisa. Did he burn down the ryokan? Where yeah. did that go? Yeah, just right on top. <laughs> Second floor haircut. <laughs> and then on the third floor, the, <laughs> the two sons started a brewery, and of course they wanted to name the brewery Nagisa. What, what will the Nagisa name become for the next business? Nagisa Illicit Panda Farm. Nagisa Poodle Wash and, and Daycare. Nagisa Kitten Cannons. Nagisa Assisted Suicides. <laughs> The brewery was founded in 1997, a few years after the beer legislation had changed. Uh, currently, they have about six beers. There's a big um, beer festival in Saitama City. Ah, uh, yeah. At the two, Super Arena, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two or three times a year, they do this big thing up there. And that's where I first had Nagisa's beer before. I think we have to drink now. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Nagisa Beer Pale Ale. It feels almost like a, like a light hollow taste, kind of saku-saku, fua-fua, I don't know, does that make any sense? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's two things going on. I think there's a little bit of a, like a caramelly flavor to it, and I want, there's no pumpkin in it, but it almost reminds me of like a, like a not very good pumpkin ale. There was some pretty nice head. We had to pour it really aggressively to get that. The first time I poured it, I screwed it up. But if you just kind of like slam it into the glass, you'll get a good head. More fans of aggressive head. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real beer. It's made with just Mugi and hops. They do mention that on the website too. They make a, a note to point out that it's a 100% malt nice. beer. They do not, however, go out of their way to mention the oh. assisted suicide department. <laughs> Saying that it's Mugi and hops, it has five kinds of mugi and four kinds of hops. I would say there's a balance in this flavor. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to express. I don't mean to knock it when I said it's, it tastes like a not very good pumpkin ale. No, but I, I meant, completely understand where yeah. you're going with that. Like Absolutely. You, when you drink a pumpkin ale, you want all the spices and yeah. the pumpkin flavor and stuff. And this doesn't have quite that, but it has some sort of a little bit of an uh, autumnal flavor to it. Do you have a scale? I'm going to use pumpkins. Yeah, because oh great. Because I, I mentioned, even though it's not a pumpkin ale, there's no pumpkin in it. I just, that's in my head now. Okay. So a 10 is the month, it's October, right before Halloween. Yeah. You go to the pumpkin patch, pick out some pumpkins with your folks, and you're going to carve jack-o'-lanterns. Okay. You bring the pumpkin home. Hmm. Batman shows up and helps you carve the bat signal into your pumpkin. Does he do it like a loving father, or does he have some gadget that just... <sighs> he embraces you with one arm as he uses gadget to carve the jack-o'-lantern. Oh, the okay. I want a bat hug. A one on the scale is a regular pumpkin. You carve it, it looks terrible, but you put it out there anyway. Then on the night before Halloween, some punk kid comes by, and as he smashes it into your driveway, to the pavement of your driveway, yeah. you walk outside, only to find that your pumpkin was filled with locusts that then 
fly from the shattered jack o' lantern down your throat. <laughs> Sniper alert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a six. And that's not to say that it's any better or worse than other beers. Right. We have established that none of our scales make any sense. They, they are alternate universes. Scales. This is the Bioshock Infinite yeah. um, universe Dude, theory. Spoilers. There's, a, there's always a beer. There's always a rating system. But no, a six. It's a good beer. It doesn't do anything special for me, mm-hmm. but I like it. How many of these could you drink? A lot. This is a beer that I could keep drinking, and as you drink drink more and more through the night, the, you're going to get less flavor out of it, but this is one you can keep drinking. Mm. What would you rate this beer? I'll give this a five. It's not so bitter, but it's just a, something about it. I feel like if I had more than two or three of them, it would start to bother me a little bit. So there you go. Two positive reviews for a good beer. We didn't do recommend, not recommend. I guess it does, doesn't really. We can do that now, I guess. I recommend it. I also recommend this beer. So there you go, two positive <laughs> beers. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can find links to the brewery or our Facebook page down below. If you want to watch our last video, you can find it here. Hey! Oh, I'm pointing to the window. Oh. <laughs> Please use the comment box below if you have any beers that you'd like to suggest for us to try. So anyway, until next time, Avidasen. That was lovely. Yeah. It does say Shirahama on it. And it does say 97. I could have saved myself a lot of research by just reading the label. <laughs> <laughs>